the Federal Reserve Bank pretty much served its purpose a long time ago. Well, it brought the United States into the world wars and all the ensuing conflicts we've had ever since. It made a lot of people rich. Above, above and beyond what the Fed's creators intended for it to do. Okay? Uh, so, <laughs> all this talk about Ron Paul ending the Fed auditing the Fed, abolishing the Fed. It's all sauce for the goose. It's all just come-ons and lead-ons for uh, the average Amer uh, United States citizen to lap up and swallow. Um, <laughs> Audit the Fed. That's a good one. Uh, do you honestly believe uh, the owners of the global central banking cartel, that of which the Federal Reserve Bank is a part of, do you really think these people are going to be straightforward with supplying you all the uh, information for the audit? Um, do you honestly think they don't have the ability to forge documents and rearrange things, rearrange currencies, rearrange this, re rearrange that so it fits to be all proper and everything? Come on. Uh, I mean, and, and then this bit about abol eventually abolishing the Fed, you know what? Uh, they, you know, the establishment, the powers that be, call them what you want, uh, they can very easily create another institution to take the Federal Reserve Bank's place. Uh, and this whole uh, transition period that Mr. Paul speaks of is just icing on the cake. Okay? It's going to give them more time to rearrange things, uh, to shift their wealth into other different places, and use all their lobbying power to influence the uh, you know, laws being passed and all this other uh, mind-controlled government. Government is mind-controlled, but it's it's that's all. It's all part of you know. They couldn't care less. The people who own the banking cartels, banking cartel, the global banking cartel. They don't care less, any less about the audit or the abolishment of the Fed. It's that simple. This whole bit that Ron Paul keeps talking about, along with a number of other different things he talks about, is just more rules, and it's just, <laughs> you know, it's just more come on. It's just a different type of come on that we're not used to. And, uh, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I mean, the people who created the Federal Reserve Bank, I mean, look what they've done just in the course of its, you know, just, just in the history of the Federal Reserve Bank itself, not to mention all the other preceding central banks that have existed on this planet for the last, I don't know, over 100 years when uh, uh, Meyer, Meyer, uh, Rothschild basically uh, invented the whole system of uh, fractional reserve banking. You know, um, he's quoted as to have said, uh, "Give me control over a nation's money supply, and I care not about its loss." See, I mean, you want to talk about uh, 
up front in your face. This guy's basically telling everybody, you know what, go fuck yourself, you know, in modern day terms. You know what I mean? You know, he's got the power, his, you know, the Rothschilds and all the other rich people beneath him, they got the power to basically to do whatever they want. And they've got all the time in the world for all these different political shifts and uh, political plays and the games that we all play with this stupid election, with our, with the way everything's basically set up, you know. The whole thing, you know, politics, the money, the religion, the culture, it's all part of a very well thought out and very well executed uh, mind fuck scheme, you know, and it's been going on for since the rise of human civilizations and all of, you know, the, the inventions that we've uh, accumulated, you know, thus far, you know. Uh, so something as piddly ass as the Federal Reserve Bank isn't going to mean a fucking thing to the powers that be. It's that simple, you know. Ron Paul is basically a tool, whether he likes to admit it or not, whether he knows it or not. You know, he went through all the, the higher learning, which is uh, basically how to become a better slave, and then uh, pretty successful being a doctor, and uh, continued some of his uh, higher learning, become even an uh, even better slave. And, you know, tie that in with his, you know, faith and his hope and his uh, uh, belief system in this imaginary God and his son named Jesus and all this other stuff. You know, uh, you know, he's just part of the charade. You know, he just gives a different illusion of change. You know, basically the same bullshit, just in a different package and a different mode of delivery. And this whole thing about the Fed, ending the Fed, abolish or auditing the Fed, and a transition into abolishing the Fed. That's all just window dressing, you know. Uh, more distraction, you know. Uh, for the average person, you know, we, we spend so much time with our jobs and our families and all the other things we have to deal with. We don't, uh, we really don't have the time to really dig deep into what's going on. Unless you're uh, jobless like me and uh, have a lot of free time on your hands to where you could really, really turn over every possible rock, you know. All the reading that I've done, all the personal research that I've done, the traveling that I have done. Okay, so. Just to give you something to chew on for a little while, you can spit it out if you want, but, you know. You'll find out, you know, eventually. You'll come to uh, realize what I'm talking about. But it'll be a while because Ron Paul isn't going to be president. Yeah, he could, you know, stay in politics and uh, pull a few strings and get some changes, some, some slow subtle changes to take effect within politics and the, the federal government and whatnot, but, you know, so, just think about this Fed bit and, uh, I mean, really, turn over every rock in your mind, you know, the libraries, travel, uh, reading, whatever, you know. Spend some time alone and think about it with all, all, all these distractions that you're surrounded by. 
and maybe then you'll understand what I'm talking about. But until then, good luck to you. Good luck to all of us. <laughs>